Good evening and welcome to Midnights with Madison. Today we sit down with Brett McCargo and Jules Veliquette to discuss the NIL deals, the treatment of NCAA athletes, being able to profit off their name and image, and more. Jules, how do you feel about this, the development of the NCAA as a whole, and how do you think it's affecting these athletes? Yeah, so to kick it off, I know a lot of people have a lot of differing opinions on whether or not college athletes should be paid. Um, and obviously recent NIL rules have helped in that category some. However, in my opinion, athletes are essentially employees of the university. They are the face of the university. These athletic programs are the front porch that help sell the university and bring people here, which ultimately brings in a ton of revenue for the university. Um, they put in so much hard work and so many hours and bring in all this revenue and all this attention to the university. Um, why shouldn't they be paid and in, in more beyond these NIL deals? Jules, I agree with you. Like you said, they are workers for the NCAA. They are workers for the university. Essentially, they're advertising their university. So if the university can turn a profit off of these athletes, the athletes should be able to turn a profit off of them also. Yeah. I think there should be a, a little bit of a cap to it maybe. I mean, you have 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds. Um, the NCAA was established to regulate, I mean, these college sports to help these athletes to protect them and have the best interest for the students. I think they should definitely be able to profit off their name. I just think there should be a little bit of a cap to it just so there's not too much irresponsibility. I do think maybe they shouldn't have access to all that money immediately, have some to put away for after college because you know not all athletes go pro and they need something to have them for after college to depend on. Yeah, and I kind of agree with that and going off that, um the NCAA and not paying college athletes kind of just tells me that they don't care about their future beyond these four years and these are obviously student athletes who don't have much time for the student side of things and you know they put so much time into their um, sport that they don't have enough time to one have another job or to manage a harder degree so it's hard for them to you know those who don't go pro which is I think less than two percent how are they going to um, you know be benefited when they're leaving college if they don't get paid. And one thing I'd like to add is they're dealing with more than just the sport. Like you said, they're dealing with school, but they're also dealing with outside, outside distractions like social media, Aww. stuff like that. Say These KJ, athletes are glorified on college campuses. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but let's say K.J. Jefferson throws two interceptions. He now has to deal with a lot of backlash and a lot of things that mm -hmm. a 21-year-old shouldn't really have to go through that's going through college. Right. So I believe that pay could kind of compensate for that. Absolutely, yeah, and kind of help them, you know, set up for their futures, like I said earlier. And NIL helps, but there are only a few amount of athletes who are even popular enough to get those deals. So, you know, what about everyone else who still puts in the same time commitment? Well, we're creeping up on 1 a.m., but thank you, Brett McCargo and Jules Veliquette, for joining me tonight. Thank you for watching Midnights with Madison. I'll see you tomorrow night at midnight.